What it is, everybody? It's your boy Mike Rich, man. What's happening with y'all today? I hope everybody having a blessed day today. I hope everybody is doing something that they want to be doing today. You feel me? Uh, today I'm at South Lake Mall. So if y'all can see this it, off in the distance, it's on the horizon. Look at that sky. It's beautiful outside today. South Lake Mall, and right by South Lake, you can see we used to line up right there. Right over there, we used to line up for sneakers. Like I, like I was going to say, man, this place is kind of like, I don't want to say special to me, but it's just like a place that I just remember for copping kicks. We used to line up. I think the last sneak, I, it was one of those All-Star weekends with the last lines I was waiting in out here. And um, even though I used to hate it, hate lining up for sneakers, used to meet people that want the sneaker. And when you leave out with your bag, you just you walk out the mall, like you still see people in line and your chest sticking out. You're like, well, I've been chosen to get these kicks. You feel me? You like getting your pair was so much more special back then before they start mass producing uh, Jordans. Uh, like you said, back then we was all complaining, man. They need to make more because you get mad. You wait in that long line and you leave empty handed or somebody bought your size so they could resell it. But it was something still just so special about having your pair. Anyway, I'm about to go in here and um, it's not too far from my job. I just changed clothes, got over it, changed clothes, said, you know what? Let me go do a mall vlog at South Lake. Hadn't been there in a while and maybe I can find something that's copable, man. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just going to go straight to the on feet action. You feel me? Uh, today I got on, I had these in my trunk and had to uh, change clothes and throw on some, some niceness. Air Jordan 1 uh, Barons, Baron 1s, man. Very underrated shoe in my opinion. Actually, I'm, I, when I cop these, they sold out. And I, it's, it's a very ironic because I bought these. I met somebody at this mall and bought um, somebody who uh, works at a boutique. And he came and met me because this was like the in-between point to uh, get these shoes, man. I paid $200 for them, which is not bad for resale. They they retail at, uh, what, $160? So I think it was $160 then. It might have been $140, I don't know. But anyway, man, South Lake Mall action, let's oh, do it. Oh. Got some carousel action. This carousel been here ever since I can remember, man. Um, I'm kind of hungry. I just got out of work. I haven't eaten anything. So time for some food court food. Oh, they got American Deli over there. You can never go wrong with some wines. Tokyo Express, Dairy Queen, Sabaro, um, Mexican Grill. I don't know. Please start with Foot Locker. Had to get some food in me. Feel better now. Uh, blue suede things on deck. You know what I'm saying? They selling pretty good though, from what I'm hearing. Like a few places almost sold out of them things. So. Same old, same old sales. Oh, 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 no. Nah. I thought those were fly knees. How fast did they got them early? What was this right here? What was the significance of a gold Kobe? I don't know. Y'all comment below and tell me if y'all know the story behind this, this one. I don't know. So I'm not finna bore you with all this stuff right here. Oh, that's a good price for those, though. These are actually dope. 89 bucks is a good price. I bet they don't have a lot of sizes left. These are uh, undefeated colorway in the uh, Paul George joints. 89 bucks. But yeah, as for everything else, same old same. Hey, every colorway but that one went on sale. <laughs> Always the one I want that, that go on sale last. I heard they had some of these um, at the outlets for like $79 or something like that. So, of course, I should have waited, but I never do. I'm impatient, man. I'm impatient. That's kind of fly right there. I like that. It's cleansed. Yeah, the quality on these Air Force Ones right here is, is nice, man. Neutral fall shoe. They get ready for the fall on them. Those are straight. I'm gonna tell you something to irritate me about Jordan brand. Whenever they bring out a shoe, they always bring out a slide to compliment it. These look so cheap, bro. <laughs> I'm good. Oh, that was the quickest Foot Locker vlog I ever did. I still remember, I still remember going to that Foot Locker back there, striking out on so many limited releases, man. I just felt the heartbreak when I walked in there. I'm like, bro. Still kind of glad them days over with. DTLR action. 
Alright, seems like everybody restart the um, all red Harachis, then they got the blue Harachis, then, oh they got the Bo Jacksons, they got the Raiders colorway in there guy, they got my size as a cop, how much do you want, 130, yeah, 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 I've been looking for these for a while, I might well get them, uh, they also got these H2O maroon burgundy leather quality and they 132 i thought they would be more because they got the little waterproof quality going on on these guys they dope they're playing this loud alia here trying to get me a copyright strike they got the black ones with the gum bottoms too I'm not really a fan of this colorway i like that one up there better but now nah, i ain't really a fan of those i don't really like the white mitts so hey these 100 these need to be 100 so they did not have my size in them Raider Bo Jacksons. I'm just striking out. Anybody who know I can get those in a size 12, holler at me, man. Because I'm everywhere I go and they have the, those shoes. I should have just bought them when they first came out. I was sitting there waiting on the sale and it's, they not going on sale. They selling out. I got to get this jacket, man. I should buy this just, just because I didn't get the Bo Jacksons. I should just get this jacket at 120. I feel like they're going to go on sale, too. They did last year, so I don't know. I just love the fact that they got all Jordan championships, man. Both three-peats. Three-peats on each arm. I showed this in a video before, man, but I think I think I'm going to end up copying that guy, man. I had an all-star weekend. San Antonio guy. Orlando Magic with the pinstripes on that thing. It's some of that throwback starter right here, boy. Woof. Cleansed. That remind me of the old Shaq. These shoes up here. I'm in uh, foot action, by the way. These AirTag Challenge 3 Christmas things came out like four years, uh, three or four years ago. This foot action holds on to old stuff I see. This is the Christmas edition. I actually wanted them when they came out just because they look crazy with the candy cane laces and all that. But over time, and they ain't even on sale, bro. They still retail, 120 So what's the purpose of just holding on to these for decoration? I get when Christmas come back around, they're going to hang them from the tree or something. I don't know. Speaking of Shaq, that throwback guy right there. That old Shaq, 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 Shaq. Got that Grandma Ma Larry Johnson. Thing, 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 thing. Old school KD. I showed this in the uh, last video. That was at uh, Lid's locker room. They go to GOAT right there. Well, I ain't gonna say the GOAT, but the best player Atlanta ever had. Dominique Wilkins, Neek. And a warm up thing. Got the shorts. Pinstripe guy. Whew, cleansed. Pinstripe guy. Cleansed, man. I don't reason they ain't really jumping on these shorts. I probably need to be, but season finna change, so I'm just kind of like. Yeah, I'm chilling on that. They starting up they starting to bring out the uh gear to go with them um Bordeaux 12 suede suede things, man. Uh y'all already know I'm getting them, so you know we, we not even we not even had a conversation right now. And strike three, man. Welcome to City Gear where strike three is being held at strikeout action. What the hell? What in the Sam Cook is going on right here, boy? I don't like it. I like the regular trainers, but boy, they ain't got the black ones too. Ew. I promise you everybody, everybody read up on the Ripple uh, Navy guys. Um, same old saying though, man. I'm talking about when I say you same old saying, and I just can't find a Bo Jackson. I can't find them guy. Not in my side. Can't do it. Hey, why they always have decorations of the stuff that you want that ain't in stock? Don't show me this. Don't show me this on your walls if you can't put me no concords at. Don't show me this on your wall if you can't put no black and red guys at. I don't want to see it. Hey, shout out to my supervisor, Big John. He want the guy right here. I told him it's going to be hard to find for retail, sir. Sorry. I try to find for him. I'm still keep hunting. Got some Ralph in there, guy. Got some Ralph in this guy. I like that jacket right there. That Letterman style. It's on the mannequin up there. It look fresh. It look fresh. Bruh, they taking it all the way back with these starter jacket club. Look at this. Man, I used to rock these in like the sixth grade, man. The Spur guy with the starter zip on that thing. 
Man, how much is it? Ninety-six dollar, bro. Cuh, they're taking it back. Charlotte Hornets, man, they taking it back. The Hawks, strike taking out it back. action, man. I'm striking out all day, man. Like, I'm tired of striking out. I'm about to take some drastic measures in a minute, man. I want, kind of want to go to the outlet. <laughs> Last time I was in the outlet, I got a Ferrari 14s. Not to say something that dope will happen again, but I gotta try some, man. Well, I try some. I had to take drastic measures, man. I left that mall and I'm at the Nike outlets. Now, the last time I was in here, dude told me to stop recording. I couldn't record in here no more. So let's hope that his little Hayden self ain't around or not at work today or something like that. But I'm gonna have to be, I'm gonna do it on the tuck. I'm gonna do it on the low. I used to, you know, vlog in here with no problem, but. I'm gonna try to keep it on the low this time, man. So um hopefully they got something here that's comparable. Um, what's the name? The mall I just left not too far from here. So let's let's do it! Outlet action, man. I'm approaching it now. Let's hope the hater is not here. Going in the doors. LeBron 14's finally hit the outlets. Um, I don't see a price on them. I knew it was happening. See, they be thinking they sleep with this. This is just for online, Nike.com. So, yeah, that's not real. But, like I said earlier, they do have these pretty much full sizes, medium sizes. Um, oh, I didn't wait. I bought my, well, I got a good price of mine. I think I paid like a. Uh, $100 or something or $90 or something like that. So it ain't too bad. I got these for like $70. And they still got a plethora of these boys. Oregon, Kobe ADs. They not moving. They got the ghettos away in a minute. Look at these. Air Force Ones, they kind of swift. I don't know, something look cheap about them though. They laced up too tight or something? I don't, I don't know. Blue suede F01. Don't look like it's gonna be a Ferrari 14 kind of day to day. This is where I saw the Ferrari 14 there last time. <laughs> Richard didn't actually think you was gonna find something dope again, did you? Not twice in a row. You didn't think that was gonna happen? Nah. Trash everywhere. They need to clean up, clean up on the iPhone, a bunch of trash. Oh, they got the Kobe AD things in here. They gonna go down more than this. I'm gonna wait. I got some orange boxes. They big grades or something? Well, these retail at 200. They 160 in here. I, I get them when they hit that back wall. Because you know they gonna do it. They have my size too. I like those. Those are dope. So the all gray LeBron 14s are 119. And uh, there's like Cleveland Cavaliers colorway right here is 139. So I'm not a fan of that colorway, but get you some, I guess. We got some soldiers for 84, soldier 10s. It's not a bad price, especially if you want a good ball shoe. We also got like the cream color. Um, a lot of basketball shoes in today. I might as well go in Fila. They got Fila, 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 Fila forever. I love Atlanta. These jackets ain't that bad. They $24 too. And they went back to the velour on them, boy. I can't do that. That's too hot. I see these kind of swag like this coming back in style, man. But uh, <laughs> something was hilarious back though. But I think I'm going to get the hell out of here. Just because I just because I, I know I ain't going to cop nothing out of Fila. Not today, anyway. I'm not in a feel like, feel like kind of mood. Plus, I don't have no feel like, I don't have no feel like sneakers. I used to rock them back in the day. I'm not gonna jump on with the trend. Um, might go down to Hillfig and see what they got down there. This stuff dope though. Remind me of uh, how Mitch dressed on Pay the Fool. So, um, everybody get on the feeling now before the culture vultures um, hop on it and the stuff start going crazy again. Cause you know they'll do it. You know, when stuff, when a trend come in, and people, oh, I want to rock Fila again. I'm noticing people wearing, a lot of people wearing Fila, they don't have on Fila shoes, though. They just got on the gear. 
I have on some Nikes or something like that. So anyway, I'm finna get the hell out of here. I'm done vlogging. I'm I'm just gonna wait for my sneakers to come in the mail, man. man that's what um, I'm gonna do. Ain't there wasn't nothing in there, bro. Like I guess I'll post this vlog still. Y'all comment below and tell if y'all still want me to post stuff like this. Sometime when I get a vlog and I can't find nothing that I really want and I don't copy anything, I just I exit out, I delete it, I won't even vlog it. But I did a little driving around today, so I'm gonna put it up anyway, just to see if y'all wanna check it out. I'm not gonna put no um, clickbait in the thumbnail. I could put those eights in the thumbnail, be like, hey, they got eights in the outlet, but I, I ain't gonna do it like that. I, I don't wanna mislead nobody, man. So if you watch it, you watch it. If you don't, you don't. That's been this vlog. I appreciate y'all for watching this video. I'm tired. I'm finna go home and chill out, man, and await that heat that's coming in the mail, man. Stay tuned for that, you know what I'm saying? Y'all hit that thumbs up, like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and keep watching them anyway, man, regardless if I cop some or not. Go home.